The other day my boy noticed his crack on the toilet right before we left town, so we have had to like shut it off. This bathroom is due for a remodel. See? Ugly, 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 ugly. So I have a hard time wanting to replace this toilet when I'm going to just replace it anyways in the remodel. So I'm going to try to glue this thing shut. So I'll do it first and then I'll let you know if it actually worked so that you can learn from me. I hope you can appreciate how close my head is to this toilet to get this shot. But I'm going to carve out this little crack and fill it full of glue. I'll let you know what happened. That way, if your toilet ever cracks, you might actually not have to replace the whole toilet. But I'll find out. I'll let you know at the end of the video if it worked or not. First step. Righty tighty. My bad. And then we have to drain the tank. So let's get on it. The bulk of the water you can get out with a cup, but the rest of it you're going to have to stick a towel of some sort down in there to soak it up. There it is. Hopefully this shows up on film. It's a dang good thing my wife never watches my YouTube videos. But, I gotta dry that out. That way the glue will soak into it as best as possible. It was a total pain, but I got my rotary tool down in the toilet bowl and was able to carve out a little groove in the whole crack. Then I went to the outside and did the same thing. This is necessary so that the glue will soak in as deeply as possible. This glue is regular over-the-counter cyanoacrylate, the runniest I could find. That way it can seep in deep into this crack. That was my theory anyways. I made sure to get it on the inside and the outside of the crack. If you haven't tried this trick before, regular old baking soda smeared in with the super glue can actually speed up the process and makes it a lot harder and it also fills the gap. And in this case, it kind of makes it a little more white so it's a little less noticeable than this backdrop of this darker color in the crack. The final thing to do on this project was taking a razor blade and scratching everything down smooth so that it doesn't leave so much of a mess. There's a lot of residue left behind with the extra cyanoacrylate and the baking soda. So it looked a lot better when it was all scraped down. Yep. It's got the crack. It's more obvious now. But, it's not leaking. It's ugly. Got a lot better after I cleaned it up with the razor. Zombie toilet. It's not a zombie. Yes it is. It looks like a zombie. Go to bed. If it's a zombie toilet, then I need lighting effects. I'll check back in about a week and we'll see if this thing's leaking at all. And I'll put that at the very end of the video uh, right before I post it. Thanks for watching.